POV, people know you as the productive girl, but you can't even f***ing walk in your own bedroom? Otherwise, I mean, you could just click off this video and continue rotting in your bed scrolling through TikTok. Your call. For as long as I can remember, I've been depressed. You know it's the same old, same old. Bad childhood, abusive relationships, fake friends, living in a toxic small town. I didn't realize how bad it got until I was going to sleep every night hoping that I wouldn't wake up the next day. I hate my life, so I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna completely redesign my life and myself in all aspects. Each episode of this series will be a different part of my life that I will be completely changing. If you're tired of rotting away in your room scrolling through TikTok, this series is for you. So subscribe down below to follow along my journey and maybe even start yours as well. that wasn't cute at all. Hi, my name's Lauren Ramos. If you know me, hello. And if you don't, I'm so sorry that YouTube recommendation sent you here. Now you're cursed with knowing me. And for that, I apologize. Now, if you clicked on this video, odds are your room looks like a pigsty and you're sitting in your bed like a lazy piece of shit, not wanting to do anything about it. So that's why I'm here to help you. <laughs> Was that too harsh? Was that too harsh? Now, through my years of YouTube, I've noticed that I've had a knack for giving people motivation and inspiration to clean their rooms. Most of that being because they look at my room and they're like, damn, my shit's not even half as bad as that. However, this isn't the worst my room has been, but you guys have been asking, asking me and asking me and asking me for cleaning room videos. And to be quite honest, my room just hasn't been messy enough to make one, but it is today. So that's what we're doing. I say this all the time, but you are a product of your environment. So if you want to be, you know, that girly waking up at 5 a.m., like shoving matcha up my ass, doing yoga, mindful, productive queen girly, then you're going to have to clean your room. Otherwise, I mean, you could just click off this video and continue you rotting in your bed scrolling through TikTok. Your call. But yeah, it sucks. It's not fun, but we're gonna get it done because the feeling of having just a clean space and a clean environment is unmatched. Like the feeling of finishing cleaning your room is unmatched. Kind of like working out. Doing it sucks, but after it's done, you feel great. I have a specific way that I clean my room. I will give you guys a step-by-step. -step. You will do it with me. I am here for you. Hold my hand. We're best friends and we're gonna clean our rooms together and we're gonna get our life together. We're in it to win it. And I just wanna let you guys know that. But I do have a redoing my room video coming out soon. So if you want to keep an eye out for that, make sure to subscribe and turn my post notifications on. And without further ado, let's get her done. So the first step is absolutely vital. Set the ambiance. Let some sun into the pits of hell. Let there be light. Look at that, gorgeous, the sun is shining in, and this will give you energy to keep going. Light a candle. This is my favorite one from TJ Maxx and it smells so good. Next, get that hair out of your face, girl, because we're about to get down and dirty. So this is the final before. Can't even like lay in my bed. Can't really walk too well. Can't get ready. Cute. When you spent so much money on fall decorations and decorated your room really nice and you can't even enjoy it. Hee <laughs> hee slay. Okay, time to stop procrastinating and get it done. We're gonna throw on some Spotify and we're gonna gut this from the inside out. Let's do it. I'm putting on this TikTok fall playlist, but if you wanna listen to my music, my Spotify is linked in the description. Okay, we're in it to win it. We're not gonna stop till we're done. Anyway, the first thing we're gonna do is always make our bed because one, it's so annoying when stuff is on your bed and two, then you have a big nice space to put things. The next thing you're gonna do is tackle all of your surfaces. Now, I usually start with the messiest surface first just because it's easier to get it over with. 
And in this clip, I'm basically putting away all of my skincare, makeup, just my daily essentials that I use to get ready. Next, you're gonna wipe off the surface because trust me, all that dust you're breathing in every day is not healthy. The next surface I'm moving on to is the dresser. And as you can see, I have this problem where I never close my drawers and I have no clue why I do it. Now I'm cleaning up my shelves and don't hate me for the amount of water bottles I had. I lost my reusable water bottle, which is why I was drinking out of plastic ones. And I also am wiping down these shelves because it's been a long time since they've been wiped. The amount of dust was literally so grimy. Well, I collected all four Happy Meal toys. Look how cute. This is so random. Don't judge me. But like, did anyone else's parents get so absolutely enraged when their room wasn't clean? Like full on rage fits. Like why does your daily happiness depend on whether or not your child's room is clean? Why? Imagine like being an adult, right? Waking up in the morning, getting your coffee, going about your day, about to head to your nine to five. And then you're like, oh shit. My kid's room is a little dirty. There is some clothes on the floor. Time to scream and yell and have a shit day. Like, what is the thought process there? Like, your kid's probably depressed. So now it's time to tackle the floor, which always seems to be the worst part just because my room is so small. So literally just having like some clothes on the ground makes it look really bad. So now we're moving on to usually the worst part of the room, which is the floor, but it's gonna be a million times easier to clean because we already cleaned all the surfaces and the bed. I'm really trying to build a habit of putting clothes directly in the hamper instead of on the floor, but for some reason, I just wanna throw it on the floor. we make our beds first and I guess better up here than on the floor now I'm just gonna go through all of these clothes put them away now it's time to go through all your clothes you know separate dirty clean put things away do one load of laundry it's okay if you feel overwhelmed I'm literally just doing <coughs> the clothes that I wear most, just please wash clothes. You'll be so happy when you have new clothes to wear. I don't wanna hear anyone complaining about me putting spray butter on my pasta. That slaps, and if you don't like it, you're a loser. But basically, I'm just eating my meal prepped meal right now. Now that I'm off birth control, I'll actually be able to lose weight. Now it's time to vacuum your floor. Uh, my camera died in the middle of this clip. I also just noticed that I totally have my calendar from September still, so I'm gonna change that around really quick. Now you're just gonna update anything you have in your room, calendar, clock. I know we all have things that are months behind. And here is the after. Ignore all this. This is the Sephora boxes, my Ugg box, Shark box, Anthony's computer, all the boxes. Also, I'm about to hit 9K on my subscriber tracker and I'm so happy. Thank you guys so much. I'm so relieved that I can finally walk in my room again and move around and there's not trash and shit everywhere and I know where everything is. If you've made it to the end of the video and you haven't cleaned your room yet, get off your ass, throw on Spotify, get it done. A cleaning out my closet video is coming soon and so is a cleaning out my bathroom video, which I don't really want to do, but like, it's for the series, it's okay. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm trying to bust out the cleaning room videos, but like I said, I haven't been letting my room get messy enough for one. So if you ever need like extra cleaning room content, just check any of the productive day in my life videos or the vlog videos, because I usually clean my room in those. Anyway. <laughs> I love you, Hobnockers. You're dope as f By the time this video is out, I will be at 9,000 subscribers, and that is insane. We are so close to 10K. I can't wait.
cannot wait. I love you so much. And have a great day. See you on Saturday.